Friends, Honda has launched two new electric scooters in India. First one is called Honda Activa E and the second is called Honda QC1. First one comes with a portable battery pack and the second one comes with a fixed battery pack. So in this video, let's discuss complete details about this Honda's two new electric scooters. Coming to the design, Honda has heavily inspired from the CUV E electric scooter which they launched for global markets recently. Honda has modified that electric scooter to suit the Indian needs. Personally, I felt nothing unique about the design of this Honda Activa e electric scooter. It's basically a conventional electric scooter with some of the electric touches. What you felt about the design of this new Honda Activa e? Please let me know in the comments. The main difference between both these electric scooters is motor. The Activa e comes with a side mounted motor and QC1 comes with a BLDZ hub motor. And in terms of display, Activa e comes with a 7 inches TFT display and QC1 comes with a 5 inches LCD display. So these both are the major differences between this Activa E and QC1. Apart from both these two electric scooters look similar to each other. So first of all, let's discuss about Honda Activa E. So this is a smart electric scooter with a ton of features. It will get a smart key, I mean a keyless unlock, a USB-C charging port. It comes with a 12 inches alloy wheels. It will have telescopic suspension at the front and adjustable mono shock observer at the rear. Coming to the brakes, company has used disc brakes at the front and drum brakes at the rear. This electric scooter will have a 7 inches TFT non touchscreen display. You have to control this display with the help of a joystick which is mounted on the left handlebar. And you can connect to this display with your mobile phone by downloading Honda Road Sync Duo app. So if you download this app, you will get all the insights of your electric scooter within your mobile phone. You will get security alerts. You can find the live location of your bike. You will get service reminders. You can find out nearby showrooms along with nearby swapping stations. And in this 7 inches TFT display, you can control calls, music and you can also access onboard navigation from this display. Now coming to the technical specifications, Honda has used a 6 kilowatt peak powered side mounted motor in this electric scooter which can generate 22 newton meters of torque. And the top speed of this Honda Activa E is 80 km per hour. It will have 3 riding modes called Econ, Standard and Sports mode along with the Reverse mode. Coming to the battery, Honda has introduced portable battery packs in this electric scooter. Scooter. This Honda Activa E will have provision for two portable battery packs. Each battery pack will have a capacity of 1.5 kilowatt hour. So combining two battery packs, you have to install three kilowatt hour battery pack in this electric scooter. And Honda is claiming a range of one or two kilometers by combining both the batteries. That indicates on each battery you will get 51 kilometers of range. Honda has launched this Activa E in five different colors, namely white, shallow blue, serenity blue, metallic silver, and black. Coming to the battery packs, Honda is going to set up swapping stations all around the India. As of now, Honda has set up 83 e-swap stations in Bengaluru and by March end, they are planning to set up 150 swapping stations and by March 2026, they are going to set up 250 swapping stations. You will have a swapping station for every 5 kilometers in your city. To access these swapping stations, you have to download Honda e-swap app. The prices for each swap is not yet announced by Honda. Coming to the availability, Honda is going to launch these electric scooters in three major cities in the first phase and they are Bengaluru, Delhi and Mumbai. First of all, they are going to set up swapping stations in these three cities. Then they will launch the electric scooter and coming to the second phase, they will expand the swapping station network to other major cities before launching their electric scooters there. As these electric scooters are coming with portable battery packs, swapping stations are must for this. And coming to the pricing, Honda has not announced the prices of these electric scooters. Now let's discuss about the second model called Honda QC1. So basically this is a budget electric scooter. You won't get any fancy or connectivity features in this QC1. So basically it is for the people who don't like these technical features. It will be a simple and easy to ride electric scooter. Coming to the design it's going to look same as the Honda Activa E but it's going to be a bit slim and lightweight. This Honda QC1 will have a fixed battery pack due to which company has given 26 liters of boot space in it and this will also have a USB-C charging port. To store your mobile phone, company has given a small rack at the front. It will have a 5 inches LCD negative dashboard in which you will get only required information of the electric scooter. Coming to the battery pack, company has used 1.5 kilowatt of fixed battery pack with which they are claiming a range of 80 kilometers on a single charge. 
charging wise 0 to 80 percent can be done in 4.5 hours and 0 to 100 percent can be done in 6 hours 50 minutes considering 1.5 kilowatt hour battery pack the charging time is on a bit higher side company may give low capacity charger with this qc1 electric scooter due to which the battery life will be extended and honda has took enough measures to control the safety in this electric scooter company has used ais 156 certified battery packs in this coming to the motor it will have a 1.8 kilowatt bltc hub motor with which this can clock a top speed of 50 kmph it will have two riding modes named econ and standard you'll have a physical key to unlock this electric scooter this will be available in same five colors as we saw in the honda activa e the prices for both these variants will be announced in jan 2025 the pre-bookings of both these electric scooters will start from 1st jan 2025 and the deliveries will begin in feb 2025 the honda activa e will be available in delhi mumbai and bengaluru but this QC1 will be available in February Pan India. You can pre-book or you can test ride these electric scooters at your nearest Honda dealerships from February. Coming to the warranty, Honda has provided 3 years or 50,000 kilometers warranty on this vehicle and they are providing 3 free services for the first year and Honda has launched some of the service packs in which you will get free roadside assistance. So these are the complete information about this newly launched Honda electric scooters. What you felt about these electric scooters, please let me know in the comments. And if you found this video informative, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Electric Vehicles India. Go green, go electric.